While it might not be the sunniest of days, that is no reason to not spend an afternoon and into the evening at a lovely brewery. And today we are going to Akasha Brewery in Five Dock. We're gonna drink some beers, we're gonna eat some food, and we're gonna hang out with some cool people. And most importantly, we're gonna love one another. Let's go. Hey friends, Benny back again with another beer review. Today we are in Akasha Brewery in Five Dog Family, some kids, even a couple of dogs. So it's lots of fun for everyone. Got myself a little tasting paddle and we are gonna start at the end with the updated logo. This is the Canada Bay XPA. It is 4.2% alcohol. Really excited to try this one to cheese. Ooh. Wow. A lot of like XPAs really go hard on your mouth, but this one, it just goes, hey! It's not like those aggressive aunties that are like, oh, I've got someone I can hook you up with. It's just like, hi, how you going? I, I like to be in three sips, I've already had most of it because it is so quaffable. A little bit of a rock melon flavor. Just chilled out. It's not super bubbly. It's just really nice. I give that an eight out of 10 easily. That's very delicious. Palak Benza, number two, stone fruit. IPA, it is 6.8%. I'm really excited to try this one. The cheese. Wow, wow. Now, whenever I hear the word fruit in a beer, I sort of get a bit, they're gonna be too fruity. This, no. Honestly, it tastes like beer. That is the main thing that I'm getting. It has a distinct, unique flavor. A bitterness to it, almost a little bit syrupy. Overall, really good. Mm. For me, I think this is a hard 8 out of 10. I really want to give it a 9 out of 10, but I think it's really... Nah, it's a 9 out of 10. It's really good. Almost finished the whole thing. By the way, for 6.8%, the alcohol doesn't smack you in the face. You'd forget that it's nearly 7% alcohol. Number three is one that came recommended. This is their Double Hazy IPA. Now, before I had this IPA, he asked me, how are you with haze? How are you with hazy? Sort of like in Man Vs. Food, when he has to sign a waiver before he eats the really spicy wings. It is 8% alcohol. So the strongest one we're having today. Let's have a suck down on this sauce bottle. To cheese. Mm. This is sort of like a flavor that I never really had tasted in a beer until about a year ago when like hazy beers really started just getting out there. This one is another great entry into the hazy beers. They all sort of look like juice and they all sort of in a, in a weird way almost kind of taste like juice a little bit, but like the juice that you have at schoolies when you're trying to impress your mates first thing in the morning. It's not too bitter, it's not too heavy, it's not jumping out at you, it's not like licking a mouse trap and the thing closes on your tongue. So you can tell there's alcohol in it. Having a night on this would be a night you'd forget most of. What do you think? It tastes very fruity, it's got like a pineapple, like it looks like pineapple-ish and it tastes pineapple-ish. It's nice. I don't mm -hmm. think it tastes as strong as, like, alcohol, as strong as you do. Ah, I get that a nine out of 10, that's really nice. Last but certainly not least is the Water Buffalo. This is a brown ale, it is 6%. Now me and brown ales haven't always seen eye to eye in the past. Lately, they're a style of beer I'm coming around to. I, I can't take the anticipation any longer. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh. oh my gosh. Ooh. Hey, how you doing? In case my reaction didn't completely betray how I'm feeling right now. This is delicious. Imagine the flavor of a really bold stout, but put into a, a clearer sort of a beverage. So it's got this full impact of the flavor, but you can just knock it back. It is very toasty. It is laying on my tongue like a Beethoven on a piano. Imagine like Nutella on old, crazy good, Russian toast. It is like a Ferrero Rocher and like a chocolate truffle nutty. It is warm. It is here to party. This has really sort of changed how I think about brown ales. Honestly, I give this a 10 out of 10. This is absolutely delicious. This is so good. What a buffalo it was. 
Our top brew of the week is Water Buffalo Brown Ale. I thought for sure the stone fruit was going to take this one. This is still insanely quaffable, but this one is savourable. I just want to sip on this and nibble on this and just lie back on a reclining couch watching endless episodes of Man Vs Food because this is fucking yummy, mate. What's your official title? Bryce, just Bryce. This is Bryce, he is just Bryce here just at Bryce. Akasha. Bought us the beers we are drinking today, but I'll let you know there was a 10 out of 10. Oh my god. Yeah. You love yeah. to hear it, mate. Yeah, well. What makes a brown ale a brown ale? The darker the beer, the more roasted the malt is. You've got an amber ale, which is halfway between a pale and a brown. It'll have kind of caramel flavours. And thereafter, you've got the brown ale. A little bit more roasted than an amber ale. So you get chocolate and coffee. Still a little bit more of that like caramel. Then you move into porters and stouts. Mm. They're all chocolate, all coffee. You don't get much of that caramel anymore. We do an oatmeal stout once a year. So that's got oatmeal in it, which right. gives it more of a mouthfeel. Well, it's good for you. Yeah, exactly. you start the day with Bert and Ernie, they're breakfast. having their oatmeal out. So you also like the food truck that's here today. I do. This is a super special one this week. So we have different food trucks every week. Um, this week, it's a collaboration. Yeah. Jackalope, who does awesome like Tex-Mex kind of food. Jules, who runs it, she's from Texas. Uh, and then also Brisket and Brawn, who does some of the best brisket in town. I'm actually a vegetarian. Oh, really? But I love to smell it all week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the brisket taco with sausage on the side. This is the sausage taco with brisket on the side. Then we have the loaded cater tots and a side of beans and rice. The drink I chose to have with them is the Mosaic IPA. I've had it before. It's very delicious. So much flavor. That's another easy nine out of 10. That is really good. Now for the bits where I act like man versus food. Getting heaps into man versus food lately. Oh wow. It looks kind of like just a sausage that's a bit chopped up. It's got spice in it, cayenne pepper, a lot of smoke to freak up. The brisket taco. If you're like licking your phone right now, I don't blame you. Oh my God. I want another. Not even finished the whole thing yet. I already want another. Some of the brisket with the pickle. Mmm. That is really good brisket. Sausage taco. Mm. That is so yummy. I think fried. There's hated spots in the beef drippings from the brisket or something. Ooh. The cheese on that is delicious. The brisket. Everything, the beans and rice, it was a much needed ballast after having the drinks here. Every morsel was delicious. This is so good. Wherever these guys pop up, check them out. I had an awesome time at Akasha today. I had to take some of that brown ale with me. It was too good. Food was so delicious and every beer was just amazing. Kid friendly, family friendly, dog friendly, really fun venue and the music was really good. It was Jimi Hendrix, Rolling Stones, all day. Akasha, nine out of 10, very easy. Until next time, tell them Betty sent ya. Bye bye.